Hi guys, so um, I'm Ashley and I'm on team Figment Loves Gish Facers. Uh, I'm living here in Florida. I work for Disney and this is my first Gish Wiz. It's been insane and ridiculous and awesome. Uh, this is Friday night. It is almost 2.30. Aww. Ha. <laughs> in the morning. 2.30 in the morning. should mention that. Stash. Um, I just finished making an American flag out of Cool Whip and Fruit Roll-Ups. Hence the, you know... Um, you can still see it. It's right there. Um, the aftermath. I have not even uploaded a picture of it yet. I It's so recent. I literally just finished it. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad looking. Look at the little puddles for the stars. I don't know. I, I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it is 2.30 in the morning <laughs> after all. Um, again, this week has been nuts. It all started with a can of shaving cream, actually. Like, the first ridiculous task I did was, um, to do something that you've wanted to do ever since childhood, and somehow that turned into me covering my entire body with a can of shaving cream <laughs> with the help of my roommate who now thinks I'm insane. Anyway, um, did it in my bathroom and did not think about like, hmm, maybe I should, you know, open the shower curtain and have it ready so that I can just jump in the shower whenever I get done. No, it didn't occur to me that, hmm, I might need to shower after this. Actually, you know what's funny is that it was gonna be a beard. At first, I was just going to give myself a beard, and then I was like, I'm going to go all out. I'm just going to cover my entire body. And so that's what I did. And it was awesome. Um, I'll probably never do it again. <laughs> but, yeah, it happened. There is evidence. Um, and, you know, whenever I got done with that, I thought, that's it. Like, that is the craziest thing that I will ever do. And then the next night came. And... I laid an egg in downtown Disney. Downtown Disney, like it was busy. There were people walking everywhere and they were staring at me. I made a big nest out of nothing but bubble wrap. Completely bubble wrap, the entire thing. Um, made it and then I took it to downtown Disney and I sat in it on the sidewalk in front of T-Rex, the restaurant. And I laid baby Mishmint, which is, <laughs> I don't know why I thought of this, but I, I took that um, picture of Misha that, you know, was going around when the Mishpocalypse happened. You, you know the picture, you know the picture I'm talking about. I posted that on my Figment plushie Figment the dragon, that's um, the little dragon from the um, attraction that I work here at Epcot. Um, like I mentioned, I, our team name is Figment Loves Gish Facers, and um, Figment, that's, that's from me, from my ride. Anyhow, um, I posted that, that Misha's face picture on Figment's body, and that was my baby. And I hatched that baby in downtown Disney in front of, I don't even know how many people. Once again, there is video evidence of that. It was very, it was humiliating, <laughs> but it was funny. Um, and again, I thought, that is the weirdest thing I will ever do. But then, when I got home, that same night, I had my roommate turn me into a cannoli. 
she wrapped me up in a brown blanket and laid me down on the kitchen table in our apartment. Drizzled chocolate syrup and caramel all over me. And then she put Cool Whip on my face and my feet. Which, by the way, has to be the most torturous thing I have ever done in my life. The Cool Whip came straight from the freezer. We had it in the freezer. It was freezing cold and all over my face and my feet. God, I, I wish we could have gotten a video of that. Since my roommate's usually the one who's like taking the video of me whenever I'm doing something, and she was kind of busy covering my body in chocolate, <laughs> we weren't able to get a video of that, which is unfortunate. I will never forget the screaming. That's the one thing that I will take away from that experience was the screaming. I mean, I know that my my neighbors must have thought that she was, like, there there was an axe murderer in my apartment or something because it was so cold. It was so cold and awful, and I just wanted to die, and so I just, I was screaming bloody murder. And then as soon as she got done with that, which it seemed like it was never going to end, and it kept getting in my ears, and it kept melting and getting all over the floor, when we finally got me covered in that, she poured sprinkles all over me, which, again, by the way, I am still finding sprinkles you do not want to know where. Thank you, Misha. Uh, yeah. So... <laughs> After that, I thought, okay, that's it. Like, that is the weirdest thing that I will ever do. And then, yesterday happened. And yesterday, my roommate and I turned ourselves into a baby. We got some newborn baby clothes from Walmart. We tried them on in Walmart, by the way, which is... Yeah, that happened. That was embarrassing. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and we cut the back off of them so that she could stick her hands in the arm sleeves. And then um, I put my hands in the pants and the shoes to make it look like my my arms were the legs and her hands were the baby's hands and then my face was the baby's face. We got a, um, um, instead of a full car seat, we got like a booster seat so that we could like sit in the back and we, we literally, we stuffed ourselves in my trunk. She was laying on top of me in my trunk and we crammed ourselves in there, closed the trunk door and got ourselves situated so that we like put we put a blanket over the rest of our bodies and stuff so it looked like we were a baby with a giant head in the back of my car and then my friend Stephanie from work who is um, on our team with us and her roommate who we had never met before this is our first time meeting her was in the car with us dressed as a baby that was the first time we ever met that's going to be the best meeting story ever. Anyway, um, they drove us to the drive through at McDonald's and ordered, and we took a video of it. And that went really well. Like, the lady there, she was real... She played along, and, you know, whenever we drove away, she was even like, oh, what a cute baby. And whenever she said that, we were like, oh my gosh, did she really say that? Like, what a, you know, what a nice person. And I don't even know why we did it in retrospect. Um, after that, we were like, just for more footage and just to see what happens, let's go to Wendy's as well. Um, so they drove us to Wendy's. And when we got there and finally got up to the drive through window, the lady noticed that we were recording her and she threatened to um, report us to the police. She was like and we have footage of that obviously her saying I'll take down your license plate number and I will I will call the cops on you which I'm still waiting to hear back about so if I get you know arrested I fully expect Misha Misha Collins if you're watching this and I get 
put in jail. You're bailing me out. Like, you're bailing me out. Like, it's your fault. It's your fault I'm in jail. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, so yeah, like, just weirder and weirder and weirder stuff every day. Every day, just weirder and weirder stuff. And I'm like an introvert. You know, I don't usually do stuff like this. Gishwiz is changing me. I am changing. I am doing stuff that I never would have even thought of. And I like it. Will I do Gishwiz again? Yeah. I'll do it again. And you know, this one's not even over. Tomorrow I plan to go to medieval times and pedal with a sign about someone burning my castle down, a dragon burning my castle down. My roommate's going to help me with that. And then <clears throat> later that day, I have the supplies to begin to make bear clothes and dragon clothes out of kale. How I'm going to do that, I have no idea. But you know what? I'm going to try. <laughs> um, and after that, who knows? But it's not over. And I'm glad. I'm not ready. Like, might sound dumb, but I'm not ready for Gishwas to be over. I'm really, I'm as tired and sleep deprived and insane as I am. I'm not ready for Gishwas to be over. I am enjoying myself. I am making friends. I am going insane and I am loving every second of it. So thank you. Thank you, Misha. Um, thank you for, for starting this week of just complete insanity. Whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever this is. Thank you for bringing out the crazy in me. I'm loving it. Talk to you later.